Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Quest 4. We're on our way to get Ragnar. However, this is the part in the game where things open up and it's much like when you get the ship in Dragon Warrior 2. This is the point in the game where I like to deviate for a little while. I do some of the other quests that you're supposed to do a little later first. And I think it helps because you can get some pretty kick-ass equipment for the hero. So the first thing we're going to do is get the Zenithian Shield. Which is in the Kingdom of Kenoa, but first we have to go to Mina and Maya's hometown. So actually I'm going to change my party real quick. I like to have Elena, Kaloon, and Bray. I'll just heal off screen. And, uh, we'll just attack for now. See, the reason I do this at this part of the game is just because of the extremely low encounter rate for the C. I mean, you barely get in any battles, so the really tough battles you can run away from. Um, in the North Sea, there's a lot of tough battles, but this part of the sea is not too bad. So, first we're going to land. All we're going to do is go into the town, and then leave for now, because all we need to do is make sure that it's accessible by Zoom. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's here. Alright. So now we're going to head south, and if you go directly south from here, not directly south, but now it's directly south, we're going to land on that land mass up here, and this is Canelon. So basically what we have to do is interact with the king first, and we have to go back to town, then we have to go back to laissez-faire, recruit <laughs> somebody, and then go back, and then we'll get the Zenithian helmet, I think it's the helmet. So. Um, this battle might be tough, but we have Bray for crowd control, so... I'm telling you, it's so much better than the NES version that you can control their actions. In the old NES version, anybody who's played it knows if you, uh... Um... Crap. If you have Cristo on your team, he just has beat on everything. It's really useless. Alright, so I'm just going to change him out. He's not too good at this point in the game. Later on he comes... He's always just kind of like... Strangely useful. Alright... This is supposed to be tough in the game. Some of you who are playing this alongside of me might... recognize that my level is low, but... I prefer not to grind in these type of games. I think it's a lot more fun to struggle and make it through. Okay, so the monsters in this area are admittedly tough. So, alright, just one of these I can take them out. Group force, should be okay. I think this is the same monster that you fight at the top of the tower. The one uh, where you get Tornico. Okay, so we're here. Right, so you get a ship. I'll try to get the mini medals in this area on the way out. Because I don't think you need to come back here ever again. Okay, so we're gonna go up, we're gonna talk to the king real quick. Basically he's throwing on the joke contest. All y'all jokers. Alright. Heading upstairs. We just gotta wait in line now. Perfect derp. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So now you talk to him. Just kidding. Somebody's in front of me. Didn't even see it. Move it. Yo, little girl, you suck. Okay, here we go. Supposed to make him laugh. Ooh, yeah, nothing. Oops, sorry, I talked to him twice. It's okay. Doesn't laugh, nobody cares. Okay, so we're gonna leave now. I'll get the mini medals when we come back here later. So move a soldier. Okay, so now, this is the reason that we stopped in Lizzie Fair before, so we can just ward back there. And then 
go up. And now you go into the hut where Mina and Maya started out. Go down below, just come around here. And if you go into the back door, he's not there, sorry. You have to make it nighttime. I'm sorry. I forgot. So step outside. That's my fault. Do you remember there's a night light that you got when you were with, uh, in chapter 4? So somebody has that, if you didn't mean it, or may have. It might be in the. Where is it? There it is. So you use this. Later on, Bray gets the spell, I think. At least he used to. Okay, so now it's nighttime. This is one of the few uses you need for it. See, in recent Dragon Quest games, the when it's night out, the monsters get harder, but I'm not sure they did that in this game. I don't think it was that way in the old NES version. Okay, so we're going to talk to this guy. So he says, come back in the morning. Such a process. Now we got to go to the end. Derp derp. Here we go. Okay. Good. All right. So now we're going to head back, find this guy, and recruit him wherever he is. Probably talking to the manager. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Alright, so we're at the Zenithi Town. Hell uh, yeah, we got a Jester on our team now. He can fight with you, but he doesn't really do much. He goes out to your wagon. Alright. Let's go outside. Yeah, sorry, he can fight with you, but he's just like Tornico. He's not bad, but you don't really need him. You only have him for a short while. Oops. Uh, my yeah, he's here. His attack is pretty high. It's actually higher than anybody in the party right now. But. Um, okay, so let's go to Canelot. So this is quick. We just come back here. Talk to this guy. Oh, sorry. Um, you need to have him in your party. That's my bad. So we do party. We'll just go one on one with this guy. Hell yeah! Okay, I'm pretty sure all the mini medals are in the castle. I think. I guess we'll find out later. Um, hold on, let me check in here real quick. I don't think so. I can check, but... Nah. Alright, so we'll go upstairs and talk to the king. What's up, Kang? Okay, there's definitely some mini metals back there. There's one around here too. I'll get him in a second. Just take care of this first. <sighs> Yo, move it or lose it. Go! You're not funny, little girl. Move it. Okay, here we go. Uh... Oh, you... Sorry, don't get confused here. You need to make him first in your party. I don't know how they want you to figure it out, but... Alright. 
Ajo Pone Buya Oh yeah, okay good you don't have to be a certain level to equip it or anything, so you can equip it as soon as you can. And he's out of here. I think the NES version, you can try to keep him around by warping around, but as soon as you step into the overworld, he leaves. I think you can do the same thing with Horatio. Okay, so I think we'll find the mini medals real quick. I don't think it's outside. I think if you just go downstairs. There's definitely one back here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you gotta go outside. Then go into the side. Go back here. Check these drawers. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's one. I think there's another one over here. Might as well check it all. Magic potion. I think it's up there. Wait, how do you get... oh. In the NES version, it's so much easier to see where the walls are. It's just straight up, top down. No, it's not here. I think there's a kitchen. I keep looking around. Hmm. Maybe not. No, I'm just crazy. Alright, so we're gonna leave. There must be another area in here. Just some nuts. Mm hmm. Keep looking. Is it downstairs? I think there's more than a well down here. No, just kidding. Just gonna keep looking. Gotta be a kitchen. Here we go. Alright, got the second one. We need this. Oh, there's one outside. Right here. Ooh, yeah. Alright, so that's all three mini medals in here. So we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you how much better the um, this helmet is. So here we go. It's a new game helmet. I'm gonna trade it. Nope, because I'm gonna show you. You equip. Bam! Plus 24. That's how helpful it is. Okay, so next time we're going to probably go take on Kilion. So we'll see you next time on Dragon Quest 4. See ya!